Steve, when you consider the, the form you've been in, results against, for example, Spain, was tonight, as some people are describing, an enormous gap for you or maybe just not performing to the level you'd hoped for? We didn't play as well as we can play. England played very well, I thought, especially first half. Uh, they got the 2-0 lead, makes it difficult to come back. Decent response in the second half from us, I thought. Decent response. We had a good 30 minutes where we were f trying to force the game to get back in. We got back in on 2-1, uh, switch off again, and the game goes 3-1, it's, it's over. But I'm not sure I was the one getting carried away too much. Uh, I said the game would be something that I could look at afterwards. Uh, I had some things I wanted to see tonight before we go to Spain next month for the competitive game. And I'll go away, I'll, an I'll analyse the game and I'll see what we can do better. You've talked about that evolution and how I think it's fair to say you need games like this to, to evolve further. Did you see things tonight that will help you in that? The response. Uh, when we managed to get our foot on the ball, we managed to pl play the ball around a little bit. We looked a little bit more like we're all selves, but you have to recognise the fact that the game was probably already gone at 2-0 down. So there were some good things. There were some things I'm going to, we're going to have to be better at. Uh, and that's our job. The players go away to their club games, sit down and try and come up with a, a strategy and hopefully we get a performance in Spain. Does it feel slightly like a, a missed opportunity? We all know it was a friendly, but it was a friendly against England. And given the form you had and the momentum a win would have got, given you, does it feel a little bit like that? Yeah, the, the, only, the most important thing in this camp was to get three points in Cyprus. We, we achieved that. We knew playing against England is going to be difficult. Playing against Spain away is going to be difficult. Playing against France away is going to be difficult. But if you want to learn as a team, you have to play against good opposition. So we have to go away, learn the lessons from tonight and try to be better in the future. How do you go about, Steve, ensuring that the momentum, the feel-good factor that we've all built up over the last number of weeks, months, is not disrupted by what happened tonight? Hasn't gone. In the group, in the competitive group that we're in, five, five wins, 15 points. That's what, that's what we have. So I told the lads, the camp's been a success. It would be nice to have a positive result against England to make it even better. But the objective of what we came in to do has, has been done. Obviously, we didn't want to lose to our old enemy. But on the night, England were better. So sometimes you have to take your medicine in football. And tonight, we'll take our medicine and we'll try and improve. Norway won in against Georgia. Um, how as excited, expected. As expected. How excited are you about coming back, regrouping with a squad and hopefully getting that final push to, to qualification next month? I'm always excited to come away with a squad because I think they've been fantastic for their country. Uh, I speak about them all the time, how good they are, uh, how much they want to be together. They've always shown that they're pretty good and a little bit of adversity, they've always bounced back in a good shape, so hopefully next month they can do that. Steve, Scotland haven't conceded many goals in this campaign or in this year. Is that the biggest frustration tonight, the way you conceded the goals, or do you have to credit England? It's a bit of both, really. The goals are... You can always analyse a goal and find fault in it. Uh, I'm sure Eng England, Gareth, will, will look at the goals and say they've, they've created some really good goals. Uh, obviously, one or two small mistakes on our side that that I think we can defend better. I think we have defended better, by and large. Uh, tonight we didn't defend as well as we could do. So, yeah, something to improve. You did say that Scotland have got three games against what you would call pot one teams, and you might have to take take that medicine at times. But how much do you learn, and how much can you put that into the next two games now in, against tough opposition? Yeah, I th the way we shaped the team, uh, the personnel I started with, I had some ideas in my head that I wanted to see. I wanted to see how it worked. Uh, obviously, it didn't work that well in the first half. I thought it was a little bit better second half. When the changes came as well, I thought the changes were good. gave us a little bit more impetus, a bit, bit of energy. Ryan Christie came into the pitch really well, which, which is nice to see. Uh, and then, like I said, just as it looked as though we might get a chance to go further in the game and get something out of the game. I was just getting ready to make some more positive changes. England got the third and that sort of killed the night. What did that backing feel like from the supporters at the start with the national anthem? It was quite a scene, wasn't it? No, nah, the supporters are brilliant. We know that. They're in a good place. They, they should be disappointed tonight that we, we, we haven't managed to get a positive result. But 
I'm pretty sure they, they understand where we are. Uh, they still sing that song about going to Germany, so they're still in a good place. I know you said you weren't going to focus on the Norway-Georgia result during the game. When you saw the result afterwards, was it just a, a shrug of the shoulders and a, a quick look to next month and looking what you can do in that camp? I, I, just, I just assumed that the result hadn't gone the way we wanted it to go and it was only when I was walking down the corridor that Darrell actually told me the score. So it, it was a game that wasn't on my mind. Steve, I know you said that the, the team to grow again might have to go through some pain. When you talk about things not going to plan, is keeping the ball at this level, is that the big difference with the team at this, playing against top teams like England? They, they don't keep the ball well enough? Yeah, but in that, you also have to understand how, how good England are at pressing the ball. They made it very di difficult for us first half. We couldn't get our foot on it. We couldn't string enough passes together to open the game. Certainly early in the game when... When we felt as though we were on, well, we, we were on the back foot. So now you have, listen, you have to learn to play against the, the speed and the physicality of the opposition. And England have certainly got both speed and physicality, as well as a lot of talented players. Any last questions? Okay, thank Good. You. Thank you. Safe journey home.